um, welcome back to Belongi Art. Um, this is a channel that is designed for educators and anyone who loves art as much as I do. So creators of all ages. Um, today I want to show you just a elementary art lesson. Um, really simple, but um, students really enjoy this lesson. Um, and if you like the content um, at the end, don't forget to hit subscribe um, and hit that bell below um, for more project ideas and lesson ideas. Um, basically this channel, I'm bringing you right into my classroom um, and bringing you into my curriculum and how I like to teach art. So I'm sharing that with all of you. Um, that is what you'll gain from watching this channel. So. Some of this, um, I'm not going to talk too long. Um, I'm eventually going to have the video transition into a demo mode um, where you just kind of see how this project develops. But just a few tricks I want to talk about. Um, through this lesson, basically students gain a few things. Um, they learn how to overlap shapes, um, use different colors, and then um, overlap different size circles, basically. So they're looking for circles. Um, you can also have the students actually walk around the room and find different circles. So as you know, an art room is filled with all sorts of um, different materials. Um, I usually have them look for empty containers. So here's one, here's one, we all know we have a ton of bowls in art rooms, elementary you may want. Them to, you may want them to find um, plastic items, but glue sticks, um, it makes them observe like their environment and like looking for shapes. Um, I really believe that art is about exploration. Um, so I always try to combine a sense of exploration and creativity in all the lessons. So, and then plastic cups. Um, we know we, we use this for watercolor painting usually, um, so we usually have a ton of these in the art room. Um, have them walk around, find circles, and then they're going to basically trace the circles onto the piece of paper. Um, like I said, you can use different size paper, so there's this size, you can do a small 8.5 by 11 size, or you can have them go super big with it um, as well. The advantage of the students um, working on an oversized piece of paper is they will stay engaged longer um, with the activity. So they're going to do the outlines, basically the circles in Sharpie. So you have different types of Sharpies and this, they go crazy over Sharpies um, at the elementary level. They feel like it's something special, they know it's permanent, um, so hype that up in your classroom. Um, you're like, today you get to work with Sharpies. Um, and they go crazy. So um, different types. There's thin Sharpies, there's the thicker Sharpies, and then I've even had students make their circles with Expo markers. Um, this is another specialty item in the classroom that they really go um, really crazy over. Um, so whatever you can do to get them excited about the project is a plus. So they're simply gonna trace it and then overlap. Now there's no wrong way of doing this. I'm also gonna work with a watercolor tray. Put out a variety of colors for them. Different brushes. Um, I usually try to provide them with a small, medium, and large, so they have a variation of brushes to work with um, and colors. So at this point, I'm gonna transition to demo mode um, so you kind of see this project develop. Um, so my advice to all educators, and especially our educators, is um, just be excited about the lesson that you're teaching them. Um, because that passion, it will, it will transfer to them. Because they're gonna see you excited about it and they're just gonna, they're gonna wanna do the project. Um, so make it fun, um, always. I hope you enjoyed the lesson um, and don't forget to hit the bells and notifications below to get all the project ideas.
Thank you.